Oi there, I'm Tiny Pirate and welcome back to Airships. A little bit of time has passed since we last met. Right now I'm just, well, it's just completed. Good. I've built a few carapaces around the place. I've saved up a bit of money. A few places have recovered from the war. And I'm getting ready to send sort of a grand fleet uh, somewhere. I'm going to get these ships underway here. I want to start pushing up here because I've got this guy drifting southwards. Um, yeah, I do kind of worry about that. Up here, I, yeah, these are pretty substantial facilities. I want to at least invade around the edges of them. But the first thing I really, really want to do is design a heavy, uh, a heavy bumblebee, basically. So if we take the bumblebee, no, where am I? Design ship. If we take the bumblebee, I want to sort of fix some of its deficiencies, of which there are quite a few. The first really is I want to, in fact, it's going to be quite a rebuild. Really. I want to kill these things here and that because that that is just so much maintenance. The cockpit is too slow. The berth won't be enough. The small ammo store isn't enough um, since we're getting rid of the berths. The grape shot cannon I don't feel is enough, which leaves us <laughs> it leaves us with one tiny cannon. I do want a large ammo store. I think what I want is or are fire extinguishers. And I'm going to want a reasonable amount of coal. I'm sort of inclined to put a large propeller on this thing which will make it perhaps a bit ridiculously fast, but it will be effective. Um, let me just see, can I just put this like this? I mean, how much would this be if I did this uh, propulsion? Um, wow, 720 meters, that's a, that is ridiculous, quite frankly. So, uh, we can go with a lot less lift, just a normal suspendium tank. Um, do I want to kind of make it a little chunkier? I think I probably do. I'm, I'm sort of pondering about that lean look. I do quite enjoy it. Um, could I move this down just like this and do something like that? What are, what are our pathing? What is our pathing like? It's not too bad. So that gives it plenty of speed facility. Uh, it does need, it really needs a bridge because I'm tired of it going uh, so sort of uh, poorly commanded into battle. It was fine when it was small, but it just can't keep up at this rate. So do I go for something like this? Uh, and then we can put potentially, so let's have a look at water. There's a lot of water. There are no tools on this thing. So let's get a little bit of repairs going in. That seems about right. Do I... Fire extinguisher bridge. Do I just try and compress this a little bit? It does need crew and we don't have any. So let's slap some of those in. Uh, where are we? Quarters. I kind of feel like I've compromised a little on the shape and that bugs me quite a bit. So let's turn these overlays off and have a little look. See, what could I usefully fit somewhere else? I mean, could I just fit the bridge at the back here? It's not, I don't know, it's not very in keeping with its style, if you ask me. And that's a spendium chamber. Oh, I don't know, fire point. That's the fire point. Repair bay. What if I put these next to each other in some fashion? No, I actually think I prefer it longer rather than thinner. Which definitely means suspendium. And I'll pop that up there. And coal can come back. And fire extinguisher could definitely come here. And after that, I'm going to go for corridor with ladder for now do I prefer it like that uh, I kind of prefer it like that to be frank 
don't know why. Just want the fat belly of a of a kind of uh, some kind of bumblebee involved here. However, we do have a bunch of crew to fit on this thing, and we have supply chests to squeeze in. So this is starting to look so repair. Water isn't too bad. Uh, we could go back. Oh, what is, what is that fire extinguisher there? No, I want that. I want that poked out. I think that looks cute. I'm all about cute. We need supply. And we have plenty of crew. So now supply is basically what we need. And that is going to be some kind of steel construction. There's a lot of stuff quite kind of plat packed together. I'm conscious of the implications of that. That's 16. However, this doesn't look too shabby to me, um, especially once I put on the, where are we, the crow's nest, you can sit right there. Oh, it's not a perfect bumblebee anymore, I do miss my little bits, but look, it's really fast, reasonably lifty, it's never going to be perfect, maintenance isn't too bad, I don't know how much it compares to the last one, recommended crew, crew, uh, not going to bother with a sick bay. Now let's have a look at pathing. Uh, everyone can get around especially pretty cleanly from there to there, that's all fine. Coal is fine, explosion damage would be bad. But that's just what we're going to have to deal with. Uh, we're going to have to paint it. So I think we will just give it the uh, bumblebee stripes and um, I think that'll probably be Fine. I like the little pokey out piece. Do I want to give it a few shapes? That's the question. Um, not really sure I do. Maybe maybe a little bit of shape. I, I do quite like those uh, figureheads. Let me have a look. Let's have a look at the old paint now. Pew pew. It almost looks like a stinger. But not quite. Ah. Uh, maybe, maybe it'll do. Takes off seven meters and it takes it below 200 kilometers an hour, which I'm a touch sad about, but that's, that is also fine. I think we'll just live with that. Because looking nice is important. This one would add a little bit too much weight. See, <laughs> put it down there. Uh, that's terrible. We could go with definitely a couple of round lanterns. Because I did think they, whoop, I did think they looked quite cute from the last time round, and maybe some adorable belly shapes. Uh, red light down, forward, forward. Can we fit a light forward? It's not quite. We won't be able to put any lights up because of the lighthouse, so. Mm, can't even get like a light rear that I've seen, which is a shame. So find a little squares at anything particularly awesome in here before we complete this one. Not the coolest looking ship I've ever made, I must admit. But yeah, no, I don't think that looks very good. I'm not sure what I can do to improve this. It's fast, it's reasonably high, and I don't know. Let me have a squares. Uh, I don't know. It seems alright. It's going to do a good job. It's got a, a captain. It's going to be a uh, heavy bee. I would call it a heavy bee, but a, a honey bee, but that doesn't seem appropriate just because of the... Okay, so we're going to save this design. Just want to compare it. So it's 16 maintenance compared to a bumblebee which is nine maintenance. I would say this is at least twice as good a vessel. So we're going to build a couple. I think these are really going to be a great mid-sized uh, fleet defender. Oh, oh, what do we got up here? Ah, yeah, they were trying to... Oh, we got this invasion. That's fine. Hmm, a little, little bit worried about the size of those cannons, to be perfectly frank. So we're going to put you right at the back. You moderately at the back. 
And then you guys, uh, I don't know, we'll just, maybe we'll just get you straight in. And especially you two. Okay, so I want you two to move and get like here. Yep, and then the other two will follow up once the orders refresh. Having a lot quicker order delay is going to be perfect as well. So let's get on with this fight. We'll know pretty quick. Wow, did we lose chunks of the ship already? Did we really? Oh, that's... I'm going to put you on reloading and going backwards. Oh, they do have a turret. Oh, man. Oh, man. They're on fire. They're not having a good day. What are you doing? Can you just move backwards just in case? We're one aircraft down. The little guys have done their job. Oh, the top turret is gone. You can you just like try not to explode too close to the little bumblebee? Now in come the fighters. The bombs are coming in. I think we're gonna win this one. I am somewhat conscious of the of the, what's going on here. We have a very fragile ship in a way. It could get cut in half if one of those modules go. Oh, we, we won, we won, hooray. We lost a bumblebee, two bumblebees. That's fair enough. I want a brutal takeover just because of how quickly we need to complete some of these fights. Okay, so this was the fight down the bottom. Right, this one should be very straightforward. Um, you. You have lost one of your little nacelles, haven't you? But that's okay. We will be fine. Very fast fight here. Just get in. You guys, you got your shotguns. As, as has been pointed out to me, you have close range weapons. You might as well use them. And they've already surrendered. So we'll take this one over. Uh, it also is a brutal takeover. Yeah. It's about time we evade, invade Sodaville. So, I'm just keeping an eye out. This guy's coming down. I'm worried that he's going to cause some trouble. Oh, wow. That is a lot of those little guys. Um, rocket ships. You can just do your duties in this vicinity. Uh, bombers, of which we have a few. You can do this other stuff. And actually, what I do want to do is get these bombers upgraded too. So, that's the next job after this battle, pretty much. Uh, I'm going to just move you guys down. I probably should have done this beforehand, but never mind. Uh, what are you... You got muzzle rapid fire? I think there's a lot of stuff there for you to hit. Yeah, bombers, do your work. And speed up, because we haven't got all day. we got a lot of stuff to blow up. <laughs> it looks ridiculous. I'm kind of inclined not to enjoy rockets. I'm sort of... I'm sort of finding them just way too, way too not, not good. They just don't hit what you want them to hit. All right, so all of our stuff survived, their stuff didn't. Brutal takeover. Maybe we can bait them into uh, not uh, coming this way. I don't want this, this fleet here to come this way, but we will if we have to. Meanwhile, let's also uh, design ship. I want to take our bomber. And I really want to get rid of these modules because that is expensive, that is fragile. And yeah. So it's going not very under not very above water right now. So let's give it some resources. Um like that. Let's give it some propulsion. Um what that do? Seems, that seems a touch over the top for this vessel. And I want to give it some lift. Like, I suppose. I suppose that works. It's not pretty right now. Has made it a reasonable bit more expensive. Um, what are we looking at like for overlays? Pathing is fine. What about water? There is no water on this thing. Okay. So I want the closer propulsion. And the command is also terrible, if I remember correctly. Yeah, so where are, where's the cockpit? I'm going to find that little guy. Uh, so yeah, actually what we'll do is we'll put you there. And we'll put an actual proper bridge in. 
and the bridge. We're exactly right on crew. We've got tons of supply. That's good. Much better on the commands. I wanted to put in a water point fire extinguisher of some kind here. Um, here, oh, nope. Get rid of you. I feel like these berths, there's too many of them. Um, got a quarters. Repair bay, bomb bay. A uh, fire extinguisher point, a fire point, a fire extinguisher right there. Would be good. So let's have a look at our water overlay. Yeah, water's fine. Any repairs at all? Yes, sort of. So now what I'm thinking about is where to put probably another crew. I might move this over, this down, this up here, and a quarters here. How about that? It's made it a bit more expensive, but I think a little bit more efficient in some ways. That's a berth we don't need. That's a corridor we probably don't need. A corridor we don't need. See, we're dropping price off this. Quarters we do need. So another shape in there will be fine. And you sort of sort of pondering does it would it help to have a cockpit i don't don't actually think it would so i'm just checking crew's fine commands good repair water is fine Actually, let me just check the water overlay that seems okay it's got plenty of coal i think it's going to last a long time um is this overkill that's one of the questions i have i have i could make it a bit cheaper just by using a normal suspendium chamber no, I think I'll go for the large. That's, that is nice. So now it's just a matter of... What are you? You're a repair bay. No, you don't really work there. But I could put you up here and just save the little faffing around down there. So repair bay. And that works for me. That does work for me quite nicely. It's not too much difference in price. It's pretty high. It's got lots of crew. Yes, this will be fine. Let's shove some shapes on this. Oh, I didn't. Oh, Bumblebee, did I give it the right armor? I think I did, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to have to check. This is going to help me aim a little bit. Give it that little shape at the back so that I know where stuff is, which way it's coming in. Triangles at the front feel... Well, can't get a triangle there. Oh, is that the light's fault? Or the Kraken's fault? Kraken, you will have to move if that is the case. Yeah. Kraken, go there. And then shape. Come in like this. And let's have a look at your paint. Your armor. Uh, steel wall able to deflect small arms fire yeah that's fine paint we will give you another layer of zigzags maybe we will uh, zigzag differently this time yeah this seems cool to me I am a child of simple taste so no I've joined it come back to me okay get this in and Clonk, 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 like that. And that means there's probably something like that there. And yeah. It's got a little it's got a little weird bit on the front actually. Would it be better with a slightly different figurehead? Or a lion figurehead maybe? Come on. No, I want a slight... I do, I do like that Kraken, but it feels like it's in the wrong place. So let me try again. Is it better there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that seems all right. We'll go with that. Let's rename this... T no. <laughs> uh, modules. Um, okay. Call this a heavy beetle. Heavy beetle. 
Have I even spelled that right? I can't even tell. I'm not good at spelling at this time of day. Uh, I do... Oh, actually, I want to fix the shape up here. Oh, that's a bit... One to three. Why can't I get a one to two? I can get a straight slope, but I can't get... It might get a little brass. There we go. I like a little brass. This is a bomber. It's got all kinds of pipes and widgets around it. So it is going to look a little weird. What about one here into the figurehead? No. <laughs> that looks weird. So... Mm, I think that looks okay. Oh, we can fit one there as well. Oh, that looks adorable. Okay, the heavy beetle it is. Three seconds, lots of supply, lots of... Well, not a lot of bombing, but enough. I, I want to be able to use these pretty robustly. Alright, save the heavy beetle. Uh, we do not... Do we have enough to build one now? Oh, what's wrong with it? The ship has disconnected... Uh, okay, where, where's the design ships? Open design, heavy beetle. Uh, okay, so... Uh, okay, the ship is disconnected. Okay, let's maybe get a different... Maybe that's just a way of telling us to put in... Maybe we'll put on the abstract figurehead. Yeah, I kind of like that. I might put some red behind it, though. Just to give it... Now, I've kind of ruined my design, but... Ah, never mind. Or maybe we'll just make the back of it all yellow. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Save design. Heavy beetle. Yes. Build. Can I get two of them? I can. Oh, very nice. I do need them up here as well. Um, okay, so Tinyville. Cool. This is the Grand... Oh, the Grand Fleet is just going to destroy them. Yeah. The day is ours. Before the game is finished, we have won. Uh, where were we? Um, brutal Takeover. So these are coming online again. Um, see, I'm going to take three provinces before he's even made it this far. Heavy B is coming along here. Guardian was defeated by Sov Sovadal. All right, I think this is again. Day is ours. Yes, thank you. Brutal takeover. I'm going to just keep on rocking this. Oh, you cheeky. Uh, defenses, what is there? You, Heavy B, can move there. Can you catch up with these guys? I think not. What is slowing you down? Can we leave the bombers behind? Would that be quicker? If I untick the bombers, click to intercept. Actually, if I untick the bombers, we'll move there first without the rest of the fleet. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Someone's going to get there first. Uh, okay, so... I'm just going to put you back. Uh, I'm actually going to put you here. And we're going to see. So this is the heavy B. I'm going to show the outside view just because I like this so much. What on earth are you two doing? Are you actually aiming? Aim. Um, I'm a bit concerned this is a boarding ship. Alright, ran away. Fine, then everything else came in. What are you guys now? Can you click to intercept? Take this one. The bombers are doing their own thing. Oh, that is a lot of intercept. That is a lot of stuff. Um, hmm. You guys are, are going to be in charge of the rear guard action. Like, that, that means getting in the, the behind. Uh, you guys are just wall of wall of stuff. I, I'm a I. I'm conscious that I don't want to lose you. Okay, so you guys, go. What on earth is that? Um. Yeah. And you three can just. Mm. Target that one. If everyone shoots at that one, maybe it'll crash into the others. Oh, look at you guys. Seriously. I do not like rockets. I just don't. Who's even shooting you? Is anyone shooting? 
Oh, what are you not even on a type of shot? I can't quite tell what was happening there, except maybe our own rockets. Were, yeah, maybe our own rockets were causing that. Like, where... Are these just boarding ships? I like this guy. He's doing all right. They're coming out of the sun. Well, that's why we're asking for aim shots. Maybe aim shots would be required. Uh, everybody, shoot at this one. No, 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 no. Um, uh, oh, wow, you're going to have to be a bit lucky to get out of this. Okay, move back. Uh, move. Flip. Get out of the way, boys. Get out of the way. They're coming in. Oh, there's bits falling off them. Oh, wow. Nice shot. Now, can we... Alright, you guys are ready to... Come up to here, maybe. Get the shotguns out. Polish off all their crew. Yep, that's fine. Now, you're all going to be a bit low on ammo soon, which is a shame. Move, flip. Yeah, just do that. Get a bit closer. Closer, 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 because you can't hit anything. And you guys get right in there too. Now, you guys are not going to survive if you stay under there. I don't know what these are meant to be. Like, we're just picking holes in them. And eventually a suspendium chamber is going to go up. And that's that. They're out. I kind of want to refit our bumblebees. And I don't know how much that would cost. So our original, these ships were 800 something. But it costs much to refit them. Uh, just turn around. Uh, get your server. Your server ceiling is higher. So just come up here. Oh, well, you face the wrong way. Move. Flip. You're kind of ablative now. You've got no ammo, so you can just get in there. Oh, no, 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 no. No. No, 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 no. Don't hold up the other ship. Okay, never mind. One. Two. Now we're going to navigate around the rock. Uh, well, we're literally holding this guy up, I think. Oh, we got some borders. Oh, enjoy. There's not. Whoa. There. Come on, get off. Okay, you guys can just come down here then. Boarded. No, 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 no. Fight back. I don't want to lose you. I don't want to lose you, my bumblebee. They're going for the bridge. Oh, I think we fought them off. There are only a few of them. And we are a little over crewed. Oh, they've captured this one. Fine. Is there anything left to take left to take out? We do have to be a touch careful. Uh move into here. One more ship. Alright, normal fire. Shoot, shoot, shoot. And... Oh, well, they're still piddling about here. I guess I don't want to lose all of them, so... Okay, come on. Any more ships to go? Alright. They seem okay. Have we suffered any particular damage? Why are you not shooting? Oh, you guess you're wounded. They've got some people who are wounded from that battle. Speed things up a bit. Finish off the captured ones, and we're done. That's okay. I'm okay with that fight. Uh, select a destination to move to. We're going to leave you behind because you're a bit damaged, and you can invade there, and you can move there. And you can also move there. 
Can we capture you? Oh, we got there, but just after. Whew. Okay, so let's have a look at this fight. Ah, uh, okay, this should be pretty easy. We just got to hit them a lot really hard. And we should be fine. Um, only one ship to take down. All right, start. Wait, all of you. Uh, I don't know, aim fire. Why not actually try and hit this thing? Target it. Look at all the crew. They're lining up there. The guard's ready to attack. But as soon as they get close, we've got like a ton of shotguns here that are just going to basically blow them off the ship. I hope. Are we going to be able to move these back? I think we can. Run away. Mind you, if I have to sacrifice anything, a single bum a bumblebee would be a good idea. But if I can just knock it out of the sky first. Oh, the shotgun's going. Oh, we did it. Okay, they're surrendering or running away. All right, surrendered. No ammo. Wow, that's a weird... That is a weird ship. All right, so I should have a check here. All these places we captured. That's fine. Defenses. Uh, so we should clear this lot up. Scrap. Repair. Let's put one of these down. And I've realized... Wow, we've hit 30 minutes already. No, cancel. Yeah. Let's just scrap these. I don't think we're going to need them. Repair for 20 seems fine repair for 50 okay we've already hit third what is it 31 minutes already that's pretty good i think i'm going to end this episode here and we're going to do some other messing about in another episode probably just about finish the campaign thanks very much for watching i've been tiny pirate good night